I love myself. Peace family. How's everyone doing? This video I want to talk about Dr. Sabi. Alright, let's pin that. Did Dr. Sabi actually cure a man that was blind? Did he find the cure for AIDS, for cancer, for diabetes, and pretty much any disease? I was listening to him for like two hours yesterday. And he believes that there's one disease, and it has to do with when our mucous membrane in our body gets all whacked out and out of order. Luca, come here. I want my little dog. Come here, boy. Oh, boy. Wow. Look at him running around. Yesterday when I was leaving work, my mind kept going, go to White Castles. Get three sliders. You want them so bad. You want to... You want to get those cheeseburgers. What up, Lever in Motion? I'm just, it, it's a beaut finally a beautiful day where I can be in my backyard and then be grounded, charge up my solar panel. Yesterday when I was leaving work, I wanted to stop at White Castle so bad. And then like I'm I'm driving the I'm driving the Whole Foods today and my mind is going stop at Culver's. You want to get a cheeseburger. <laughs> it, it's like I, I I ate some sushi a few days ago and then even after I I ate it, I felt like there was parasites in my body. Hell yeah. I'm gonna get that tent, set it up in my yard right here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna start sleeping in my backyard this summer. Cause I need to utilize this sunlight. I've been in my house the whole entire Yeah, oh, look at him. I've been in, in my house the whole entire winter, depressed, in deep rest. Everything in Chicago goes in the depression, in the deep rest. If you look at all the trees. Everything is just sleeping. It's not even awake. And everything just looks dead. And that's how I felt this whole entire winter. And I just kept on telling my parents and everyone at the work, I'm like, I can't even connect to the earth. So it, it, it's been like about six months of me just being inside and not getting any sunlight whatsoever. So this, this summer... Me and my little dog, we're gonna take advantage of this. Yeah. Oh, there's a little dog. Oh man. Yeah. Wave, wave, Luca. Did Dr. Sabi actually cure somebody of blindness? Did he find the cure for cancer, for AIDS, for any disease that you can name? He says that there is just one disease. And that's when the mucous membrane in your body gets compromised. And it, it just, it just, just one disease. Like, I didn't know anything. I didn't know nothing last year. I, I was just eating bullshit. But now, hey, there, there's so much that I learned. I learned that carrots are man-made, that, that, that it's a hybrid, that that shit... I shouldn't even be eating that. Fuck that. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be eating good stuff from now on. I found a watermelon with seeds in it the other day. What up, Sam IV? Uh, let's wave at Sam. Hey! I found a watermelon with seeds in it the other day. 
Hell yeah, and I, I was so excited. I ran up to my mom, I'm like, you do not believe what I just found. I just found a watermelon with seeds in it. I bought some uh, cantaloupe. This is, this is the garden for the summer. The heirloom carrots are good, just not the typical orange. And the carrots are a natural occurring hybrid, not genetically made by man. You know what I don't understand? The navel oranges, they don't have seeds in them. And those are like the only kind of oranges that you could find. There's other ones, but there are seeds in these other type of oranges, but they're not... They're not flavorful at all. They're so bland. Get some veg planted, bro. That's a sick little plot there. Hell yeah. That's the garden. So I, I'm going to get... Uh, I just bought two organic cantaloupe plants. <laughs> it, it is... It, it's really bad. It's really bad out here. I, I, I printed out Dr. Sabi's recommendations and there, there's so many things on there that you can't even find. And even the papayas, there's like, it's like 3097, which means that it's conventional, it was sprayed. I don't even know what's genetically modified because like I read that the genetically modified food, it has an aid in front of it, but I haven't seen any fruit with a eight sticker on it they all have like a nine which is organic or it's a four it says like four zero one two which means it's conventional sprayed with shit so you're telling me that there's no genetically modified food out there because i haven't seen any stickers that say eight zero two eight <laughs> from the UK look it in American looks just like a fantasy dysopia nightmare <laughs> I love it I don't I don't really want to lay on the grass because my, my dad was putting fertilizer all over the grass it drives me nuts when people start putting fertilizer all over because that's what's polluting our water supply and then when you make fertilizer it creates hydrofluoric acid so you get like some white goo and then these companies they don't want to dispose of it correctly so we were told that hey the fluoride's good for your teeth and then they put it in our toothpaste and in our water and just so when so then we can just hold all the fertilizer for us and then when the human being dies and the fertilizer goes back into the ground. But it, it drives me nuts. All these people are putting fertilizer all over the ground. My, my, my dad loves fertilizer. And then I, I see these old men. And all the old men, all that they care about is their grass. The way that their grass looks. They'll be out there just fertilizing and watering. One of the laws of my odd is I have not polluted the water. And people that are fertilizing, that's, you're responsible for polluting the water supply and turning our water to wormwood. And that's why that chemical cocktail is coming out of our faucet because it all has to do with fertilizer. But we don't need fertilizer. I could, I could grow some organic plants right here and I don't, I don't have to put some chemicals all over it. And my dad, if, if he sees any rabbits in the yard, he ends up shooting it with a pellet gun. It's like, dude, quit chopping down trees and quit shooting animals in our backyard with the pellet gun. And like a few years ago, he shot a rabbit and he didn't even have the kahunes to put it out of its misery. So I had to go over there and then smash the rabbit with, with a log. So I'm like, Dad, go over there. Finish, off, finish the rabbit off. It, it, the rabbit's just like... <gasps> so then my, my dad goes over there with the pellet gun 
and then just like puts another round in it, which doesn't do anything. So dad, my lower self, quit fertilizing everything, quit chopping down trees, and quit shooting animals in our backyard. Dude, the, the animal, that the rabbits that go into our garden, they just want to eat the food. They're not doing anything wrong. That, that, that's so bad, so bad. When you start shooting squirrels out, out of the tree, Collecting rabbit shit while baked, people used to look at me like some strange clays shit fanatic. <laughs> rabbit shit is the best for fertilizer. I used to grow weed with it. <laughs> I'll take that into account because once once weed gets legalized, you best believe you know it that I'm gonna I'm gonna grow fields of that stuff. When I was in high school. I'm like, I know what I want to do. I want to grow marijuana. And then now that that's been like 15 years ago. And guess what I still want to do? Grow marijuana, baby. Have fields of that. And then I, I could go out there and meditate. And I'm not going to smoke it because smoke doesn't belong in my body. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. I'm not going to kill the plants. I'm just going to pick off a little bit, dry it out, eat it up just meditate and my fields are green. <laughs> Dr. Sebi, he's he's a real G man. That dude knows what he's talking about and just just listening to him. He's like the reason why we're getting sick is because we're eating blood and what is it? Starch. Blood and starch. That that's all that the American diet is. And people wonder why they're getting sick. I go to the machine at the Tinley Court at the retirement home, and they got cinnam Cinnabons, Oreos, Soda Pop, Fritos. And it's like, dude, do, do people actually eat this stuff? Like, I would never put that stuff in my body. Like, it's obvious that's why everyone's getting sick. You're actually going to sit there and eat a Cinnabon and put that into your holy guacamole temple? No way, baby. I, I ain't having that. I've been trying to eat, eat good for like the last year, but a year ago, I didn't know nothing. I, I, I was trying to get my protein, right? You need your protein. Like when I went to the mental institution, the, the dietician... She's like, well, you need to eat animal because you need protein. And if you don't eat it, well, you're going to end up right back in here. And I told her, well, broccoli has protein. And the dietician told me, there's no protein in broccoli. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to argue with you people because at the end of the day, everyone just believes whatever they want in the end. Right, Luca? Right? What are you doing? Don't. Don't eat the grass. There's fertilizer in there. <laughs> yes, I was. Because I was hanging out with a guy that I used to work with. I, I used to work for him. And he was... Um, he was a complete snake. I never met anyone that was so shady. And the, and the whole thing... all he, he, he hired 10 drivers... And he was just trying to rip us all off. And that's how he was making money. And this guy, I ended up quitting because I wasn't making any money with him. It ended up, I was making like $3 an hour once I had to file my taxes. But then this guy kept on calling me and he wouldn't leave me alone and he was acting like he was my friend. I went over there one day and I was drinking beer. I had four beers and I shouldn't have been over there. Because my dad does, doesn't want me hanging out with him. My dad doesn't want me drinking. My dad doesn't want me doing anything. He wants absolute totalitarian authority rule over me. So I had four beers. I'm hanging out by this guy's house. 
And then my dad shows up, knocking on the door all angry, and he's like, you're gonna stay here tonight. You better not come home. And I'm like, dude, I don't wanna sleep by this guy's house. So I was angry, and I said, I wanna cut my dad's heart out and offer it up to Jesus. And that statement, I guess the guy called the police and then told the police what I said. So then I went home, talked to my parents, everything was cool. And then I get a knock at my door and it's, it's the police. And these people, I, was, I wasn't under arrest at all, but the police are very deceptive and they know psychology. So they deceived me, they got me in the ambulance. And what I should have said was, I'm not going to say anything. I need to I need to speak to a lawyer and then just sat there. So then they they're like, "Well, let, let us just take you to the hospital so we can evaluate you and then just know that there's nothing wrong with you." And then I I ended up giving them my okay. So then I went to the Payless Hospital and then they treated me like I was completely psychotic, locked down. They in they uh, took my blood and they jammed the needle in so hard that I, I still feel it. There's probably scar tissue up in there. The guy's like, just let the lady take, take the blood from you because if you don't and you refuse, then, uh, then she has paperwork and then I have to do this and that. And I'm like, whatever, okay. So I let him take my blood like an alien abducting me. And I was sitting in the hospital for like 48 hours just sitting up. I couldn't even sleep. I felt like I was in hell. And then they took me and they brought me to Madden Mental Health Center. And I was around a bunch of crazy people. Lady, lady was clucking like a chicken. One guy in the middle of the night, he's like, think you could just come over? Fuck my wife. I ain't having that. And then he's like just talking to himself. Like, I don't know who you think you are, that you could just come in my head and then talk. He's like, get the fuck out of my head, man. What, what do you think this is? I don't play that. <laughs> and so, like, so then this guy thought that Washington, D.C. was tapping into his mind and then reading his thoughts, and they were actually implanting thoughts in his mind. So I was around crazy people for a week, being held against my will. And I'm still pretty bitter against that because it was very unprofessional. If you just talk to me, you know that I'm not crazy. So I, I was the only one in the mental institution that didn't take any medication either. Everybody wanted sleeping pills and everyone would get high. Oh, the sleeping pills are awesome. But I, I kept telling them, I'm, I'm not taking anything. And I also told them, at the Madden Mental Health Center that I was a vegetarian. So everybody was eating all this bullshit and then they would just give me peanut butter and bread. So I lived on peanut butter and bread for a whole week in the mental institution. And I, the Indian doctor, he just kept telling me, you need to modify, modify the behavior. Modify the behavior. Yeah, yeah, genetically modify my behavior so it's acceptable. And just shut up, right? Just shut up. Don't talk about anything. So I found out what the whole reason of the mental institution, they were just trying to fill up beds. So they would just snatch, kidnap people off of the street, fill up the beds, and then they would get a tax cut from the government. So yeah, I was in a mental institution for a week because I said that I wanted to cut my dad's heart out and offer it up to Jesus because I'm a Christian, right? <laughs> well, I mean, now I have a, my, my, my beliefs about the Bible, like, don't even get me started. <laughs> I, I believe it's just a way to create a slave and to hijack people's thoughts and then put some bullshit in there that's not profitable. The things that Jesus said are good, but then like the Old Testament and then Romans through Revelation, it's just a bunch of fucking heretics trying to promote a Jewish religion. And then Jesus, the, the story about Jesus was wrote and 
the whole point of the Gospels was to destroy that religion. So then, like, it really caused a big impact. And then, like, all these leaders are like, well, what are we going to do? Now Now we have this this story about Jesus and it's just like really just fucking up our whole entire religion so then like they're like well let's write a story about th this guy Paul and he was walking on the street and he's like oh I saw Jesus and now he told me this and then it was a completely different message so the things that Jesus taught were actually good and then everybody else in the whole entire Bible is a freaking heretic and that's where I stand and even in Acts 15, it's obvious that nobody knew what was going on. <laughs> Everyone's like, okay, so, so what are we even preaching? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that chemtrail right there. Where is it? There it is. Sulfite aerosol. Is it okay for human beings to breathe in sulfur? Doesn't sound like something you should be breathing in. What up, Charles Tadded? Yeah, I just had to get in the backyard and ground myself. Look at that. Finally grounded. Here, let me let me show you my solar panel. I need to make sure that the solar panel works because sometimes people sell you things on eBay that are broke. So I, I need to I need to make sure that this shit works. So just in case if it doesn't, then I I get to return it. So this is my yard. This is where I'm going to be spending the time this summer grounding myself to the earth. And I really needed to get some good bud, man. I'm sick of smoking shitty bud. And I haven't smoked in a while because the dude, the dude that I get the bud from, like he, he like hits me up every day. He's like, hey, how are you doing? Great. Just curious. Would you like to come over and hang out with me? And I'm like, dude, I, I just stopped re replying to him after a while. I know, I know, I know, man. Well, my dad put the fertilizer on the ground probably a week and a half ago. So there's not, hopefully it already went into the ground. I know, I, I, I was really careful about it when it first happened. So I, I, I think it already absorbed in the ground, so we'll be okay. What's up, bro? Oh, no. Hi, Libra. Yeah, it's good, uh, good talking to you. Hell yeah. Summer, baby. Summer. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. How do you like that? <laughs> All right. Peace, family.